Hello guys, I hope you're doing well and you're staying safe in these unprecedented times that we are in. I've never known anything like this in my whole life and we are all struggling, all right? We're all struggling across the world. But you know, we're all in this together and I thought, what can I do to bring people a little bit of joy, all right? There is some fantastic people all over the world doing great stuff like the nurses and doctors in our NHS and the health services across the world right now. I can't match that. But what I can do is bring you some kind of joy in your photography work by giving you some ideas and inspiration to take some photographs while you're at home, all right? So let's talk about the first idea. And this comes from a student of ours called Anthony Whitaker. Uh, well, actually, to be to be uh, precise, he's an ex-student of ours. He's actually a professional photographer now. But what he's been doing is he's been doing a photo documentary project of his time at home with his family. You know, his kids are at home, his family's at home. They are obviously doing learning and all sorts of projects at home. And he's done a really nice, and it's a continuing project as well, obviously, but some really nice intimate photographs of his family and what they are doing whilst they are in isolation. And that is a really fantastic idea. Document your life right now. You know, when you look back at this time in five or 10 years time, this is gonna be a really big part of history. So why not document your little part of it, all right? Now, I need to thank Tony for uh, lending us these pictures to show you guys. His Instagram handle is here, it's going across the screen now. Go and check him out. I'm also gonna put his website in the description of this video. If you're in Essex in the UK and you want some photography work done, go and check him out. And if you are gonna be inspired by that idea and the others that I'm gonna share with you in a minute, then hashtag the School of Photography on social media so that we can see it here, but more importantly, so other people can see it as well. So, you know, you can all be sharing your work, you can be seeing what people are doing in America, the UK, Australia, and it'll be really cool. Just use the hashtag, the School of Photography, and you know, obviously search for that hashtag and you can see what other people are doing as well. So the next idea is flat lay photography. It's really fun and it's really easy to do. Here's some examples that I have done. And I've used my old collection of vintage cameras, all right? So all you need to do is get near a window so that you've got plenty of light coming in. Make a background, you know, that'll give you something to do. Get in the shed, go in the garage, you know, raid all your old bits of wood or whatever you've got there. Create a background to lay all of your equipment on. Obviously, it don't have to be vintage cameras. It can be a collection of whatever you want it to be. You can even do food and that, you know. Flat lay photography is really popular on social media. You have seen it loads and it's mainly for products or food, all right? The other good thing about this idea is that you can start playing with you know, Lightroom presets and overlays to give it that really cool look. I mean, in, in my example here, I've give it a vintage look and that vintage look is free for you guys. It's a preset that I've made amongst 15 other presets that I've made. They're absolutely free. It's in the link of the description of this video. You can go and get that and you can have a play around there as well. And I can tell you now that Doing flat lay photography will keep you occupied for ages and it's great, great fun. All right, so that is my next idea there. Try some flat lay photography. The next thing that you can do when you're stuck at home is try your hand at some product photography. Now, you know, that high-end L'Oreal makeup product photography, you're probably not gonna be able to do at home. But you know what? You don't need all of that stuff. These pictures here that I took were taken with a 100 pound second hand camera. They was taken with a window and they was taken with a piece of polystyrene to use as a reflector, all right? So 
I got this quality of shot with that equipment and there's no reason why you can't do the same. What you need to do as well is obviously you need to use your knowledge of apertures, you need to use your knowledge of focal lengths and to help you blur the background out. And if you don't know how to control visual effects, you know, with apertures and focal lengths, then this is a great time to learn about photography when you're stuck at home and you're bored. And we obviously teach you properly over at the school of photography.com. So if you do want to start learning photography properly, then come over and see us at the school of photography.com where we can help you out. Again, if you're going to do your own versions of flat lay photography or product photography at home, you know, all the documentary stuff, please make sure that you hashtag them. It really, really makes me feel proud that, you know, I've done something, you know, I've helped you guys out while you're sitting at home in this terrible time. The other thing that may help you out during these times is I am running some Facebook Live Q&A sessions, okay? And the last one I did went, went extremely well, as a matter of fact. There were loads of people watching it, loads of questions that I got to answer for you guys. So it's, I'm basically answering photography questions for people who are confused whilst they're learning photography, all right? That's on our Facebook page. And if you do wanna get involved and ask questions in our Facebook Live Q&As, then all you need to do is sign on to our mailing list, go over to the schoolofphotography.com, scroll down to the bottom, there's a form there for our newsletter, sign up for that and you will get notified of when the next one is. Now, I know it might not seem much what I've just done, but I hope it, I hope it has, you know what I mean? We are, this is really bad times, you know? We are struggling, all, all of us are struggling. Businesses, people are losing their job, you know, I've, I've got staff, I've had to lay my staff off for a few days a week because, we're not taking in the sales because everyone is obviously holding their money in. You know, it's a really, really tough time for us all and we all need to stick together and basically do our best for each other. And I know it sounds silly, but I just think that, that this was something that I could do for you guys and I, and I really, you know, I really just hope it has. Even if it gives you an hour's worth of joy, then it makes me happy, all right? So I just hope that I've done something for you. And if I have, then please help me out as well. You know, do me a favor as well. You need to subscribe to our channel, put a comment, tell us what you think of these ideas. Oh, and there's another thing as well. If you've got any other ideas for people to do, put them in the comments below. Let's inspire people to have some bit of fun and, and a bit of joy while, while they're getting through these times, all right? And obviously like the video as well. We need you to do all of them things because you know it helps our videos out and it will help this video get pushed to other people. If you like, comment, subscribe to our channel, this video would then get pushed to other people and it will help them out as well, okay? so. Again, I hope this has helped you out. I really, really do. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.